Hello guys. Welcome to making IT simple. We have seen that a multiprocessor operating system is used to distribute the work in process on multiprocessors in a single system. But in today's world it's really hard to manage everything on single computer. There is requirement of group of computers to distribute day by day increasing workload. But manually distributing each program and process over all computers would be a hectic job. So as multiprocessing operating system manages the distribution on different processors on single system, similar to that distributed operating system is responsible to distribute and manage work over every computer in the system. So let us see in brief about distributed OS. If you have not already seen my previous videos on operating system, you can find it here. Also links are in description. So without wasting time let's start the video. So let us start with definition. A distributed operating system is the software over a collection of independent, networked, communicating and physically separate computational nodes. So by the definition it may look something complex, but don't worry let's try to make it simple. So let us say we have separate computational nodes, which are independent. Which means every individual has its own memory, CPU, etc. And they are all connected with each other through a network. It can be local area network or MAN or VAN. And they can communicate with each other, as they all are connected by the network. So distributed operating system is a software over a collection of independent, networked, communicating and physically separate computational nodes. So this operating system is distributed over all these computational nodes and not present over a single node. So let's understand how exactly it works. So let's consider a distributed system. Let us say a user creates a process at say site A. The process is not always executed at the site it is created. It may be executed at some different site. Or the process is divided in multiple sub-processes and get executed on different sites. What are the reasons behind doing this? There are few, first is load balancing. Distributing the process over different sites also distribute the load evenly on all sites. Second reason is computation speed up. As multiple sites would execute the process the computation time or execution time required would be less. Third reason is hardware preference. As each node has its independent hardware, some process may require a specific hardware which may be available at different site. Fourth reason is data access. Process may need different files which are at remote locations. So transferring every file is a tough job. So it is better that process is executed at sites where the files are present. Distributed operating system is loosely coupled. What is loosely coupled? The individual node in the system doesn't share the memory. Every node has its independent memory. The system which share the memory is called tightly coupled system. Let us see the goals of distributed operating system. These are also the features of distributed OS. First one is connecting users and resources. So as the system is distributed, resources and users are at different locations. So the operating system must make it easy for users to get access to remote resources, present at remote locations. Second goal is transparency. The operating system and resources are physically shared across multiple computers. Process also gets executed at multiple sites. But the goal of distributed OS is to make the user believe he is working on single computer system. The complexity behind the system must be hidden from the user. Third goal is scalability. The distributed operating system is distributed over many computers. So the goal is to scale or work efficiently on system that can be very large. The increasing number should never be the problem and the system should work efficiently. Fourth goal is reliability. The operating system is distributed across many computers. If any of the computer fails, the work should never get interrupted. 
If the same happens on single computer system then there is no rescue from that. But on distributed OS there is more reliability as everything is distributed and not dependent on one centralized system. Fifth goal is performance. The distributed operating system must be more fast and efficient in working. It can be fast response time, better throughput, proper memory utilization and network utilization, etc. These are the goals the distributed OS must achieve. So that's all for today's video, hope you all understood the concept. Comment down below if you want a video on a particular topic related to operating system. Also if you have doubts queries or suggestions feel free to comment. If you find the video helpful like the video and share it with your friends, who need to clear the concept. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for new video updates. See you soon, with a new video.